to like get your reviews to show up that are good, but a one star review always shows up no matter what. Then they ask you for money for ads. Like, I freaking hate that company so much more than any company in the universe. So, uh, well, we we have another presenter, another wonderful surgeon MD extraordinaire from Texas, Dr. Tom Genevieve. He is a board certified plastic surgeon and has lectured nationally and internationally in technology and marketing. There's a plot twist, I love that. He graduated AOA, I don't know what that means because I didn't graduate that, which is the top. Uh, there we go, Alpha, oh, I see, but I was in seminary, it's a Greek, so I understood that. <laughs> Uh, top 10% and was a plastic combined resident at the Ivy League University of Pennsylvania from 96 to 2002. Now he is in San Antonio, Texas. He performs 650 to 700 procedures annually, ranging from buttocks implants to breast augmentation to mommy makeover to super mommy makeover and BBLs. And today he's talking about how to book 20 surgeries per month through TikTok leads a full-time job. I love it. Let's hear it. I had a lot of questions for everybody. I wrote these down. Um, for Tara, she's absolutely right. I've been with Tara now three years. Uh, she's very good at what she does. And uh, all the geo-targeting and, and fencing and stuff, my, my background is computer science. I used to program for Atari as a kid. So when I'm 13 to 18, I made games. I made $300 a game. So in 1983, that would be about five grand now. So I was a rich 13-year-old. I you know, blew it on lots of dumb things, but damn, I should have saved it. Um, so she's absolutely right. On Audrey Neff, nurture your clients, nurture your... Nurture the clients, get the clicks, but this talk today is about what she said secondary, which was, once you get the clicks, what are you gonna do about it? And this is what this talk is about. And then for Dr. Lee, um, absolutely get as much Google reviews. I actually personally ask for them. I'm like, hey, if you like our service, would you mind giving us a review? Every single patient smiles ear to ear. But I, I try to find that out. But, but you can ask, and you ask it sort of. And I always tell them, hey, give us a review. Name the coordinator. Name the people that you like, and then we give them a cookie. So they, they seem to laugh at that. Um, so I do ask, but I'm a little bit more extroverted, as you can probably tell. So this talk today is, uh, is on TikTok marketing. Um, the only disclosure is that I do, uh, I do have a corporation called Close Now, and we we help to define how to do uh, market inbound financing and uh, content closure. So if any guys want to talk to me afterwards, we can give you some basic advice. And what it's worked for me was just basically building out full call center that uh, your staff doesn't have to answer anymore, as we can train this full call center to answer exactly the way you want it. If you want to say, hey, welcome to Radiant Divine Med Spa, my two uh, friends over there, Rachel, and her uh, lovely husband, Dale Blanky now. Tom, no, just kidding. Uh, there in Ohio, they, have, they went from one med spot to four, they concentrated on inbound uh, calling. So uh, any of you guys frustrated, let me know. I, I have a couple of uh, on near shore answering services that take away from your staff. And here's the great part, if your receptionist quits, who cares? <laughs> because you have a third party that took over, the money keeps coming in, the calls are answered like that. And I've been through six iterations of staff in 20 years, six turnovers. I don't think the people that are here now are gonna be here two or three years as staff or not staff. People come in and out of your lives. This one wants 50 cents more per hour. This one wants you know more vacation time. So just always remember to, to, to get some inbound help. Um, okay. Why we need, uh, we do need traditional media. I have, uh, uh, in San Antonio, I have six billboards. Uh, three are digital, and uh, we have a lot of fun with them. I totally make fun of myself on them. Um, I, we don't make anything really high end, and we have three words or less on the billboard. All it's really doing is targeting toward our TikTok. Uh, 
so just remember, traditional media still works. You can get on the radio, even a TV. I went to a lecture at the Aesthetic Show, uh, was it last year? And the girl who's the senior producer for the doctors, I think her name was Leslie Martin. Anyway, if you look at how you become a celebrity in your area, number one is TV. Number two is radio. Three, billboard. Digital media is way down here. You do not become a celebrity in your area. You don't grow as fast without some traditional media pointing to your TikToks and to your other media. So just keep that in mind uh, when we're going through this. I've also formed about two or three dedicated closers in the office. How many of you have been to a car dealership oh, recently? Most people here have been in a car dealership. What's the worst part about a car dealership? The salesman, right? So your front staff, right? What's the best part when you go in the F&I department, finally you start talking numbers? So you, you form these dedicated closers from all your media and you run it like a business. Your staff is not part of the business. They're, they're part of the, the patient care experience. There has to be business people. You have to run it like that. And there's the only way you can grow fast. So I'm in my 20th year. When I first started, I put 40% of my gross income into marketing for eight years. I took a salary of $66,000 a year, and I'm a damn plastic surgeon. You would think I would even break 100 grand. We're talking 40, 50,000 a month to get into a position where then I can reduce it down to 10 to 12%, which is currently what it is. I'll also show you why we always get kicked off TikTok and all the others, and we learned, uh, we learned that way. So why do we need social media? Uh, as Arnold Schwarzenegger says, you can't climb the ladder of success with your hands in your pocket. He also says someone's working harder behind you. So while you're sitting there saying, we're just word of mouth, and we can just do this, and we can just do that, if you're not concentrating on your marketing, someone is right behind you and asks you because they're younger, they have more access to resources, they're thinking about it, and they don't need as much money as you do to live. So they are gonna put money into their advertising where you're gonna stay stagnant. <clears throat> Social media can have a 20 to 70% conversion rate, depends on your systems. We currently convert about 81% of our surgeries that walk through the door, but it always starts with a closer. 52% of my surgeries are already paid for before they even see me because we start with a ring of closers before they enter the office. So those are answered professionally, and they go to closers, and then they come to your office. Why is that important? Because your staff can leave you, right? And what happens if your staff leaves you, and you had one girl, and she was your closer, and she can't do you know, family problems, doesn't have reliable transport, went to someone else for 50 cents an hour, then you're hosed, there's no more money. So make sure you're getting a closer. It's worth it. In the beginning, it may be a little bit of a price, but if you've got somebody closer there, somebody's doing closing, and you big them appropriately, you give them commission on closing, that person's going to work really hard. And might I suggest, when you go on Indeed, you look for car salesmen. Because car salesmen are used to commission. And car salesmen are used to working for commission only, if that's what your model's going to be. So... Most of my closers are car salesmen. They're not anything in medicine. Because car salesmen know how to bring money in. They know how to talk to people to bring money in. Human beings have to be involved in this process. You can't automate everything. Right? At some point, they want to know that you exist, that you have people behind you, that you're a real person. We have a ton of automation. If you look at my website, if you're not doing something on my web website in one minute, we have a widget called Talk With Lead that automatically pops up and says, hey, what the hell are you doing? Push this button and somebody will call now. Guess what happens? They hit that button. It goes to a call center immediately. Someone's answering that six days a week. Hot leads then transfer to a closer. It doesn't even hit my office yet. All right, so technology is great, but at some point a human has to be involved, right? So I started about one and a half years ago on TikTok. I think it was called Musical.ly before, right? Or something, or maybe it's the same. I knew that because my wife's daughter uh, was doing something upstairs and I heard her. I'm like, what the heck is she doing up there? You know, she was like 13 or 12. 
the time, and she's like, she's making videos on Musical.ly. I said, okay. Well, I don't need to be on Musical.ly because it's 12-year-old kids <laughs> making these darn music videos. What the hell does the plastic surgeon need to be on there? But then the last year and a half, it has shifted tremendously. And this is where my national clients come in, weirdly enough. Uh, they come in because you know, they're coming from Denver or you know California or, or Oklahoma. We get a lot of people from Oklahoma because we're right next door. So we usually get about 200 to 350 qualified leads a month, meaning they're very serious, but now they need money. Well, guess who the first person they talk to is? A financial counselor. They haven't even hit the office yet. Let's get you the money. This is how much Dr. Jenny charges. Let's get you lined up. The money's already done. It's in the bank. Now let's get you a, a let's get you an appointment. I'm not the one that, meant, that figured this out. The Miami guys who do BBLs figured this out. So if you look how Miami does it, they have four, four medical grad surgeons sometimes and one central surgeon. Those guys never talk to anyone. They see the patient the day of, which is dangerous. I don't do that. But they have a ring of girls that just intercept calls. And all their job is is to collect money and bring them into the center. Okay, and they're very successful at it. This is Miami, okay? It, right now, uh, TikTok brings in about 10 to 15% of my revenue, which is no small feat. Because if you think you bring one patient in, they tell four, those four tell four, it's a lot of money over time, right? So don't think of this. Hiring somebody to do this is not an expense. It's a huge investment. You will, The guys that I have with me, they're four or five, easily 10 to one return on investment. You can't get that in the stock market. You can't get that by flipping homes. You can't get that by traditional. You get that by investing in people into your business. So how do people interact on social media? They go on your feed. TikTok, my TikTok feed is really funny. It's called Dr. Boom Boom Pow. I registered that trademark. It's actually registered. Uh, that, that group that sung that song didn't go after me. I was really surprised. Uh, you know, Fergie and those girls, they didn't come after me for it. <laughs> the reason I chose Boom Boom Pow is one of my transgender patients who I put implants in said, that's my doctor, Dr. Boom Boom Pow. I ran to the computer, went on trademark yet, and quickly looked for it. So it cost about $800 to 1100 to trademark and register trademark. As soon as you hear an ID, I'd like an idea, put a trademark yet and see if it's available. Because it makes a lot of difference. It's on all my billboards. Even my, my one of my best friends, a PI attorney, who's on like 10 billboards, private jet, cars everywhere, is one of my best friends. And his kids were like, my dad knows Dr. Boom Boom Pow. <laughs> so, you know, things like that. To so interact on your feed. Answer these questions quickly. Minutes. Uh, what was that? Was that you, Audrey, with the, the answer within minutes? Graph? Yeah. So we have people answering in minutes. One minute, three minutes, five minutes, ten minutes. This is a business. This is not medicine. It, everybody here is in a business. The faster you answer, the quicker it is. What is the average attention span of millennials and people who are chronically on their phones? Anybody know? Seven to 10 seconds. You cannot wait a day to answer anyone. I get pissed if I'm on and I'm like, why don't you guys answer this? There's five of y'all and one of me and I'm answering. And I do that too, just to show them up that in between five surgeries a day, I can find time to answer this. And as business owners, show up your staff all the time. Sweep in front of them, answer calls, do your thing. Sometimes I'm in the front, plastic and cosmetics, center. how can I help you make your greatest day? All right, show it up. You're the, you're the business owner. The buck stops with you. We have this thing called Linktree on all of our websites, all of our social media. You can put a bunch of things in there. It's a great, I don't have any interest in Linktree. I make no money on them. But at the top of all your webs of your social media, you can hit Linktree and it'll drop down to your website, it can drop down to specials, it can drop down to uh, all kinds of cool things. We use something called Build My Mod, which is great. You can attach it to your website and put get a quote now. Guess what the number one button on my website is? Get a quote now. If you put get a quote now, it has all these beautiful uh, you know, uh, pictures of, of people, and then you can put like whatever you want, injections, surgeries that you do, they'll get a quote. It gets their demographics, patient name, 
email, phone number. Guess what you do with that? Your closer goes after it immediately. Don't wait. DMs, highly regulated. Do not answer questions about price on DMs. Thank you, TikTok, for our fourth kickoff. We answered a price. They think we're spam. You know, they think we're running a business. TikTok doesn't like that very much. So be careful about it. Always say, please email me or you know, do something else that will get a hold of you. We are kicked off for pricing in the DMs. Do not price. Answering too fast. How did we get kicked off for answering too fast? Well, we found out at a TikTok conference that that was spam. So three to seven times a minute is max in TikTok. Beware, take a picture of this. This is like gold. You will not be kicked off now because of these reasons. Go ahead and take a picture. I worked really hard at getting kicked off, so you guys did it. You, have, you cannot, then we got kicked off for selling, not teaching. Don't sell something. Try to make it a learning point on TikTok. TikTok does not like selling. Um, the screener, so my video screener is right there. He's, uh, during the day, he's, he's doing my live TikToks. So he'll screen the first ones and we, we hire moderators, not hire, but weirdly enough, some of your people want to help you against the trolls. So you make them moderators on your TikToks when they say, why is he doing this? Is he hip hop qualified and all that? Our moderators are like, look, dummy, don't you think he's been doing this for 12 years? Don't you think it, and then we eventually just kick them off. So make sure your video screener is paid and that they are screening and that they're also answering. Okay, so that's one person. And the second person is your closer. So that you'll need two. <clears throat> so my, the only, Mark, the only um, meeting that I ever go to every week is a marketing meeting. I don't have meetings with staff. I don't have meetings with anything else. I do a marketing meeting weekly. All we do is see how much came in. We see how many leads we got. I want to know my conversion rate. I want to know my KPIs. I don't have any other meetings all week long. Because guess what? That's what's going to pay the bills. Okay? Not how your injector injected something in a cheek or how, or how these two people are not getting along. You have to have that marketing meeting every week. You have to look at all these and make sure that person that you hired gets you all your KPIs, like Audrey said. Because then you can't run a business and you can't grow. You don't know where anything is. So make sure that meeting is done every week. We do it Tuesdays at 5.30 every week. If people are here, we Zoom it all in. This is what our Google Sheets look like. This is our CRM through Google. Um, everybody has access to it that needs to have access, all my marketers. Now I have four inbound financers. I have about four or five other closers. So everybody's, everybody has access to these sheets and guess who else has access? Guess how many times I'm on that sheet? Two or three times a day. And I operate 12 hours a day. So any of y'all think you can't do it, come follow me for one day. Okay. Here's some community guidelines stuff that I got kicked off for, no nudity, no anuses, no nipples, please. Again, try to get in as fast as you can. I'm being pushed off the stage, so I'm gonna go real fast. Closers, get some info on the patient, schedule appointments. I now have them ask about comorbidities. I have them send docusides. I have them send all kinds of disclaimers. If you come in with fentramine, you'll be $2,500 to reschedule because you wasted my effing time. So make sure you have all these questions out. These closers were car sales, but I've taught them medicine. Um, get permission to run their credit, and we use now eight different lenders. We've got a credit lender to lend down to 460 credit score. You've got to be dead. Yeah, under 500. So 460. I, I, I didn't even know that existed. Um, Finish the sale, finish the sale, finish the sale. Money first, money first, money first. Collect between 75% and 100% of the fees. I have a system where I have a 75% down and I'll carry you for 25% of the deal. For two years, I'll let them make payments at a 12% interest processing fee. I've been doing that for 10 years. 
the happiest day of my life is when I created that. That's our own in-house financing. Uh, pros and wisdom. Get some help with TikTok. Get at least two people, your videographer and then a closer. Algorithms are changing weekly. Go to the conferences. Someone has to, has, to, has to watch the virality of a video and make more videos like that video. You can't do that as an owner. And it can't be one of your staff. It has to be an external person in your office that is doing this as a professional. Uh, do videos and loops. Do three videos a day. Educate, entertain, and inspire. That's my email. That's my TikTok. Take a picture. I'm around uh, for a while. I'm going to go actually to one of the booths. But let me know. And my team is here that are the closers and the video guys. So thank you. Good luck. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. That was great. We have one final presentation. We will run over by just a few minutes, and there's another session that's going to start about 3.40, 3.45, somewhere in there. Uh, our final speaker of this session is Dr. K. She is a...